I'm about to give you a full guide on how you can grow a full thick beard. How do I know this actually works? Well, this was my beard in 2019, non-existent. And this was my beard one and a half year later. So let's get into it. So what if you could grow actually really, really thick and massive beard? That was the question that I asked myself in 2019 when I barely had any facial hair whatsoever. I pretty much had a baby face. And I, I thought that it would be so freaking cool and I would look so masculine and I get, would get so much confidence by getting a beard. So I went on a quest to be able to figure out a way to grow the biggest beard that I could possibly grow. And I got obsessed. I started researching every single day, trying to figure out how to grow a bigger beard. You see, I watched hundreds of videos of people talking about hair growth and how to actually grow a beard. I took the best things that actually worked for myself and then I implemented it and I managed to grow a beard. So we're gonna go step number one. Step number one is that you need to be aware of the myths out there because there's so many myths out there. And one of the myths that people say all the time is that you need to shave your beard. When you shave your beard, it will become thicker and that's not the case whatsoever. Yes, it will look thicker. It's pretty much like a illusion, but the beard will always be the same. And as it grows out again, it will just be the same size. It's just a myth. You won't actually get a thicker beard by shaving it. However, you will get the illusion that it will look thicker because now the beard is shorter and therefore it will look Thicker. The second thing is taking all of these different beard oils and all of these different weird products out there. I tried a bunch of like beard oils myself. I find yes, it makes my beard softer, but it didn't really help me grow a beard at all. I also tried to rub my face like crazy, like a freaking maniac. Obviously that didn't work. we need to understand why we actually grow beards. And one of the reasons is because we have something called androgens. Androgens is a byproduct of testosterone. That basically means that testosterone will be converted into DHT or androgen. Now these androgens, they work pretty much like a coach. This coach right here, he will go to his team in this case, the team is the hair follicles on your face. He will go there and he will say to the team, it's time to grow some hair and then the hair follicles will respond and they will be like, okay, the coach is telling us it's time to grow some hair, so let's grow some hair. That's pretty much how it works. However, yes, there are countries where you'll find it's going to be very hard with your genes to actually be able to grow a thicker beard, but there is always something we can do about it. These are the things that I found that actually worked for myself to increase my testosterone and get more androgens and be able to get a bigger, thicker beard. Number one, go out in the sun. I had to go out in the sun a lot. I would say that was super, super important. I found as soon as I moved to Australia from Sweden, all of a sudden I was out in the sun way more and it was way easier for me to actually grow a beard. Number two was I started training very heavy, training more like a power lifter. It increased my testosterone and it increased my androgens and it helped me grow a bigger beard. And you see this with all the freaking power lifters, they all have thick, big beards, which is crazy. Now it's also going to be super important to be on a healthy diet and do not neglect the saturated fats. The saturated fats will help your hormones tremendously. You can produce better hormones most likely you will produce more testosterone. But the most important factor of them all is definitely going to be to sleep very well and try to follow your circadian rhythm. If you follow your circadian rhythm and you actually wake up when the sun goes up, it's much easier. And I find that for myself that I think personally my beard started growing way more as soon as I started having good nights of sleep. So I think sleep is definitely going to be the most important, followed by sunlight, diet, followed by training heavy and supplementation like creatine, zinc, boron, stuff like that is definitely going to help as well. Okay, so it looks like my battery actually just died. Either way, number two, that you're avoiding things that are actually going to decrease your testosterone. There's a number of things that will decrease your testosterone and one of them is going to be estrogen. So we want to avoid anything that increases estrogen. Obviously we need to have estrogen in our body, it's completely normal, but we don't want the ratio to be too high in comparison to testosterone. So 
what could those things be that would actually increase estrogen? So one of them is going to be too high amounts of body fat percentage. If your body fat percentage is too high, then most likely you will not grow a big thick beard or the likelihood that you will is going to be lower. On the other hand, if your body fat percentage is too low, you will not grow a big thick beard that way either. You want to find the perfect ratio. And I think the perfect ratio in my personal opinion, don't quote me on this, but in my personal opinion, I think the perfect ratio is to be between 10% to 20%. I think that is the perfect amount of body fat percentage. But what are the other things that can increase your estrogen? High levels of stress. High levels of stress will definitely increase your estrogen and we want to avoid that in general. Just keep that in mind. Alcohol is just so, so freaking toxic. Just try to get rid of it straight away. There's no reason for it to be in your system. And it's also going to obviously increase your body fat percentage. So try to get rid of alcohol, smoking, stuff like that. Step number four is going to be the secret techniques that we can use to grow a thick beard, even if none of these things have worked for you. And I implemented these things myself when I started losing hair on top of my head. I was interested in getting a thicker beard. And I thought, why not try this thing on my beard? And they absolutely work 100%. Minoxidil works extremely well. If you do not know what minoxidil is, it's a topical solution. You can find this in most chemists. It goes by the name of Rogaine. However, you can stick to the cheaper brand because that's just brand name. You can go with any form of minoxidil. But how does minoxidil actually work? Our hair follicles have three different stages. They have a growing phase, they have a resting phase, a shredding phase. Now when you apply minoxidil to your face, you will constantly be in the growing phase. And since you're constantly in the growing phase, the hair is like, oh, what the hell? We just want to grow so much. So that's pretty much what's going on when you are taking minoxidil, just rubbing it every single day, at least one time. That's what works best for myself, at least. And like I said before, I try to rub my face constantly. That didn't work whatsoever. But one thing that actually do work is going to be using a derma roller. Roller works extremely well. However, do not get the derma roller that is 0.5 millimeters. You want to get the one that at least least one millimeter okay they can really get in there and when you start rolling that derma roller on top of your face it's gonna then stimulate collagen production and you're gonna stimulate blood circulation and all of a sudden that little garden that we have will then work much better you do have your last last resource that you can use to be able to grow a thicker beard. There's only one more resource that I have found that you can use to grow a thicker beard. And that resource is time. So if you right now, you're 25 years old, or you're 18, or you're 16 years old, and you find that you can't actually grow a beard, just wait. Because the older we get, the higher the likelihood is that we'll be able to grow a thicker beard. Now, I do want to ask everyone else today, if you have found something that I'm not aware of that can actually help you grow a thicker beard, please let me know. However, I did ask this guy once and he told me, oh, you can just start icing your balls and icing your balls will increase testosterone and therefore you will be able to grow a thicker beard. Uh, anything except icing your balls, obviously I do not on the other hand want to inject myself with testosterone or anything like that, has to be 100% natural. And this is going to be a quick little sum up of every single little thing that I did myself to grow a thicker beard. So thank you. Have a great day, everyone.